And one thing conspicuously absent from Prince Harry's unhinged spare publicity blitz, apart from the Duke's sanity, was his darling wife, Meghan. That hugely significant fact has been largely lost in the explosive drama of Harry's countless media appearances. But was the Duchess's distance deliberate? Well, in an extraordinary off-the-record briefing that hasn't been denied by the Sussexes yet, sources close to Meghan have tried to distance her from Harry's constructive tell-all. I couldn't believe this when I read it today. So this is what the source close to Meghan told the Daily Telegraph. Is this the way she would have approached things? Possibly not. But she will always back him and would never have got involved in promoting such a personal project. This was about his own life, his own journey, his own perspective. So, with even sources close to Meghan beginning to brief against her husband's book project, seemingly on her behalf, has Prince Harry damaged his own reputation with his bile-filled memoir? Let me know your thoughts on Dan at GBNews.uk. Vote in our poll at GB News. But to debate this first, I'm joined by the associate editor of The Daily Mirror, Kevin Maguire, former Margaret Thatcher aide, Niall Gardner, and the journalist and broadcaster, Angela Epstein. So, Angela, I found this briefing today to The Daily Telegraph absolutely fascinating because it was the first sign of Meghan trying to distance herself from all of the collateral PR damage caused by spare. Well, do we, good evening, everybody. Do we really think so? Because, you know, sometimes we, it seems that everything's about as genuine as the tooth fairy where those two are concerned. And nothing is done without some kind of strategy or monetizing the misery behind everything that's gone on. I mean, there's no doubt that, that Harry has absolutely commoditized every single aspect of his life. And uh, he certainly deserves all the, uh, all the criticism that he's got because, first of all, he fired the first salvo. And second of all, nothing is sacred. So-called private conversations have been paraded all over the place. He's targeted people who he knows cannot answer back, mainly his brother, his sister-in-law, his father, because of the never complain, never explain philosophy that underpins the whole of the palace strategy. And, uh, you know, his, his regrettable comments about how many Taliban he's alleged to have killed also puts uh, various people in a vulnerable position, namely people in the armed forces and himself, his family. Um, so maybe it's possible that uh, I can't read Meghan's mind, and I'm sure there's a lot to read there, um, that she's perhaps not entirely predicted the fallout and has therefore stepped away. Or conversely, um, because they've had a scattergun approach to their, their misery, they're monetizing their misery, giving gobbets to different people to maximize the exposure. It may be that this is all part of the strategy. I just mm -hmm. feel with those two, nothing is without some kind of forward planning. Uh, Kevin Maguire, it's interesting for you as a Republican because I would argue that actually this book has done Harry more damage than the monarchy. In fact, I think this book has galvanised the British public who maybe were a little bit questioning of the idea of King Charles. I think it's galvanised us behind our new monarch. Dan, I don't think that assessment would be much comfort to William and Camilla or even Charles, who when he has his coronation in May... There'll be two empty seats, his uh, son and the son's wife, and that'll be very telling for a dad, never mind a man who wants to be a monarch and, uh, and reign for the whole, whole country. Well, there's two people he won't be reigning for uh, at the very least. But I, look, I think we should applaud him, Harry, for writing this book, letting us get into his mind and letting us know what goes on, instead of just having a... a view of the monarchy that's a myth it's a fairy tale it's a bit of disney as if they're all marvelous wonderful people and you know, angela as a journalist if she could have got half the harry stories from somebody she would have been writing about them and giving them hey, he's done it in, he's done it himself. Well, we did some of the stuff is, we did some write of the these stories kevin and he oh. and megan lied about them at the time and denied it and now they've come out in the book and said oh by the way they were all true and it was even worse <laughs> Absolutely, Dan, and the, they deserve criticism uh, for that. And yeah, he's invaded other people's privacy. He's yes. invaded his own. He she has. has he's done it. far worse than any tabloid journalist. Now, look, Niall Gardner, how do you respond to that from Kevin Maguire? Because he actually says uh, that Prince Harry should be celebrated for blowing the whistle on the royal family. Now, I know that's not how you feel, Niall. <laughs> Yeah, quite the opposite, uh, Dan. And in fact, my view is that Harry's hatchet job attack on the royal family has been uh, a really vicious piece of work, actually, and and it spectacularly backfired, fortunately, upon both Harry and, and Meghan here. 
Uh, and I think the British public have turned Harry really into a, a pariah as a result of this very nasty book. Also in the United States as well, the popularity of Harry and Meghan has fallen significantly. And I do think that Harry and Meghan uh, definitely underestimated the level of backlash there was going to be mm. against Spare. Hence the, the reason why I think Meghan has been rather, uh, rather quiet. After all, uh, she has treated Harry, I think, like a useful idiot uh, for many, many years. And now Harry is undermining the Meghan brand. And obviously, she's not happy about that, actually. Uh, this book has been a spectacular disaster, I think, in terms of the image and standing. So, so Niall, you and Harry think that this Atlantic. briefing to the Daily Telegraph, because that's fascinating analysis, you think this briefing to the Daily Telegraph could be Meghan making her first... You know, it's, 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 it's a small start, but it could be her starting for the first time to sort of distance herself a little bit from Harry, which a lot of us have expected for a long time. I, I do think we are beginning to see divisions in uh, camp Harry and Meghan because mm. this book has been absolutely disastrous, I think, for their, for their standing and their image. Uh, and, and I think there will be fallout from this. Uh, and uh, I would not be surprised if, if Meghan is deeply unhappy about the backlash the book has, mm. has received. And she's unhappy about Harry's performance. Uh, and after all, uh, this is all about Meghan, ultimately. Uh, I do think Harry, in some respects, is a wholly owned subsidiary of Meghan Markle and her well, brand. Frankly. Kevin, is, Kevin, uh, and, is, and, is, is Meghan Harry's still a pin-up? Disastrous in many respects. Yeah, Kevin, is, 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 is Meghan still a pin-up for lefties like you? Uh, she was never a pin-up for lefties like me. I, I don't uh, curtsy, bow, scrape, tug a forelock or uh, do any of that for any of them. But remember, they were the fresh new face of the royal family. They had Harry, who was incredibly popular. She came from the stage. There was a glamour around her. She was a woman of colour. And it all went disastrously wrong. And I suspect it went wrong because she did encounter snobbery, maybe some racism, although I know Harry has since said there's no uh, racism in the royal family, which probably means they'll have to hand back that prize they accepted in the States for exposing institutions. Oh, they won't racism. do that. They but won't do that. She could, also, she could also be incredibly pushy and a ruthless social climber uh, at the no same kidding. time. But the no kidding. So she's no left wing pin up. Well, that's a good thing. Associate editor for the Daily Mirror, Kevin Maguire. Thank you so much. Thank you too to former Margaret Thatcher, Aid, Niall Gardner, and the journalist and broadcaster Angela Epstein. But who do you agree with? As even sources close to Meghan start to brief against her husband's book project, has Harry damaged his own reputation with his bile filled book? A Hearn on Twitter says, Yes, he has. And this is proof, if ever it was needed, that Meghan is out for herself. Her husband's book project has failed miserably and she will now distance herself from it as much as possible. Lady T writes, he's not just damaged his own reputation, but that of the entire royal family. And from Mike, can you damage an already horrific reputation? <laughs> Maybe not. Uh, your verdict now in. A whopping 92% of you agree that Harry has damaged his own reputation. Just 8% of you say he hasn't. Coming up.